Well, um, just wanted to make a video with um, my GoPro Fusion, which is similar to GoPro Max. They haven't changed the camera that much, other than the Max had a LCD screen, uh, and it does uh, hero mode, which is like uh, using just a single lens, which defeats the purpose of having a 360 camera when uh, when you actually have a very nice uh, 360 camera. Uh, I did, uh, last night I did upgrade of firmware 2.0 and uh, it basically gave, jumped up the resolution from 5.2K uh, per camera to 5.6K per camera. So that is, uh, when you stitch both cameras, it becomes really nice. And I like the aspect of uh, doing post processing like I'm generally I don't have the camera man so when I am um, recording videos with um, uh, normal camera it's very hard to uh, move the camera around choose the perfect angle and all this stuff this way uh, when I recorded with the 360 camera it basically is able to uh, post processed later on and I can choose the angle zoom and zoom out and it does have a lot of detail compared to uh, uh, directional cameras like the GoPro 10 or anything like that uh, it has pretty much very good stabilization uh, so when you have a regular camera even though they have stabilization in there but there's no way it can compensate uh, for really uh, fast motions and stuff like that and you will you will see that in the footage uh, like if you really want the professional footage these cameras are the best option right now so I like the stabilization and also like the fact that you can do post processing and uh, for me it's always about uh, uh, easy uh, to make processes rather than difficult processes look like like you know you can make really nice videos if you pay somebody and they are with you and <clears throat> I mean they're doing the work you just basically as a performer but doing both like actually being a performer and a cameraman I mean that's tough and um, I see a lot of people spend a lot of money on camera equipment and stuff like that but they're not really designed for um, vlogging per se. Like I, you know, when you're recording with a vlogging camera, like you don't want it too big. You don't want uh, to constantly move around or have to move around. You want a camera that just uh, uh, records you while you're doing your own thing. Like you don't want it to be an obstacle in your daily activity. You want it to be there and record. Like I, I was looking at the Insta. 360 uh, very small camera that you can just wear uh, but it has certain limitations like it doesn't allow you to have a storage card uh, which is not acceptable you would want a small portable camera but you still want a slot in there so I'm still looking for something that I can wear and I want it discreet but I don't want uh, to lose any functionality and I want 4k of course at least uh, if you're gonna wear a camera and you're gonna spend the money right now, the sensor is cheap. It's like you could probably design your own ca discrete camera if you wanted to, uh, and you can wear a GoPro too. But the problem is like it gets too much attention. Uh, if you have a camera like this in public, then people get more conscious, and uh, I'd rather not have that. But small cameras, 360 camera would be great. But 360 camera, you have to have above your head. Uh, because both lenses have to be able to pick up the uh, view uh, and uh, that's not really practical when you're walking around you don't want to have a antenna on your head uh, that's what it looks like uh, and it's not even a small antenna it's a big bulky thing on top so not really practical so I I'm thinking about uh, finding a better camera so that I can just uh, like a kind of like a chest mount and wear it and walk around that's my thing uh, I'm going to take a snapshot for thumbnail I've been learning about uh, uh, what you call um, forgetting things yeah learning about DaVinci Resolve so far the 
the so far the best uh, video editor free video editor I have found um, and I mean you really you really want um, what you call something more feature rich I mean like you can learn something basic but then you have limitations in it like if you want to edit uh, 360 degree videos you you can't do that with basic iMovie stuff even Final Cut Pro uh, is has issues so you want the editing software that is able to uh, use the latest and greatest camera technology and then you you know it gives you an edge um, uh, I learned last night about uh, uh, about the well, I learned this before that there's a plugin available for a 360 camera that you can uh, do post processing. It didn't used to be like that. Like there's a plugin for DaVinci Resolve that you can use, and you can uh, literally edit your videos, the angles. You can literally create four, five, up to 20 cameras, I think. Uh, with one camera like uh, you can uh, when the footage is record you can choose the angle the zoom and all this stuff and then basically add uh, add that as a camera and then switch between the cameras so it's really unique um, a very nice feature and I, last time I tried it you had to do it manually and it wasn't that easy so I gave up on it but uh, uh, like you can sequence between the cameras which is very cool uh, so I learned something like that before I've also learned how to do voiceovers I have not done that before uh, uh, one thing I still want to do is uh, have a voice recorder recording the voice uh, you have to have that uh, uh, voice recorder or uh, with this camera and this is something lear I learned yesterday is that you can't uh, put an external microphone on GoPro Fusion or GoPro Max. Uh, even though some YouTubers uh, claim that it's compatible with the audio adapter, I tried that last night, uh, and I was like really trying. Maybe I thought it's the firmware issue, but even after upgrading the firmware to the latest firmware, it still would not record the um, um, audio. Um, and it would just hang so another thing you when you are doing vlogging with uh, your camera is you don't want to have any music on really into cameras and I have a lot of dash cameras uh, uh, I was reading a review yesterday or watching a re review on YouTube about a 360 dash camera um, it's not really a 360 camera it's basically single lens uh, uh, instead of laying it normal position you are laying it uh, like flat to the ground and uh, that that is not really 360. It should be called 180 camera. Um, anyway, um, but they call it 360. Uh, low resolution image when they try to software interpolate uh, uh, the angles and views, and it's just not like a true 360. Uh, 360 camera needs at least two cameras. Uh, if you have two cameras, you have to have 180 degree view with each camera, and then you can stitch the two views together. Ideally, you would want more than um, more than two cameras. Like you can have, uh, I've seen some projects where they have multiple cameras, like uh, more than two, like five, six. So the more cameras you're gonna have, the more detail you can capture. So, um, but two is enough for uh, you know uh, most people. Uh, and if they're really good cameras, like the GoPro with high resolution, 5.6K. 
thousand uh, pixels uh, is uh, pretty good. Um, I mean, uh, you can get quite a bit of detail, no sacrifices. Uh, I, I'm surprised that they don't have a dash cam like this. Uh, I mean, it's about the software. I mean, like, I don't really need to use the regular dash cam if I have this camera on all the time and I'm driving it. Uh, but the problem is there's a lot of post-processing. I mean, you have a lot of footage. I mean, it has, this GoPro Fusion has two SD cards. I have two 64 gigabyte SD cards. I believe I can put bigger cards in there, but uh, yeah, uh, I can put a uh, bigger card, but the re re when you have a, such a high resolution uh, video footage, not compressed like some of the uh, 360 cameras pro pro do post processing, uh, it takes less space, but you lose all the detail. Um, and ability to edit the footage later on. So if you really want a good camera that can actually do all the, uh, what do you call, detail and has good sound. Like this camera has like a 360 uh, audio. So it has basically four or five, uh, maybe six microphones. Uh, minimum four uh, so what it does is like it grabs the audio from different direction it makes you, you if you have a good sound system it makes you feel like you're there uh, but you know that matters too a lot of people with uh, phones and stuff like that they don't notice it but you will notice a difference between the stereo and uh, uh, mono sound but it's uh, hard to notice that with the phone when you have a you know immersive sound um, so there's a lot of factors like you can make really basic videos with basic tools but you want the tools that actually gives you the ability to uh, make a, a very nice uh, video out of it so this is this camera is one of the uh, tools that will allow you to do that um, so I was watching a lot of um, used GoPro Fusion cameras last night uh, to see what they're going for. But uh, a lot of them have been damaged. Uh, the lenses have been scratched, not working. And that means you just uh, um, have to buy the lenses and replace them. Uh, but generally speaking, these cameras are going for $200. Not because they are not uh, good cameras most people don't have the tools to process the video out of this because it's uh, uh, doesn't do stitching on the camera so you cannot uh, you have to have a uh, stitching done on either your phone through a phone software or uh, on a PC with a PC uh, software from uh, GoPro uh, and if you don't do that, and it requires a pretty decent computer because it's uh, pretty demanding on the hardware that you have. So if you're recording uh, videos and you don't have a fast uh, laptop or desktop, then or a phone nowadays, like but the phone limits your resolution, I believe, to like 1080p. But um, because it, you know, it's still a phone. Um, but that feature was later on added, I believe. Uh, when I start, bought this camera, they didn't have the software maturity at that point, and you really couldn't use it much. You just had to, you just had to uh, deal with it. Uh, and I tried processing, the first time I tried to stitch it, uh, I did not have a really good enough video card. And it was pretty slow. I had, I mean, my fastest machine was taking a very long time. Now I have a gaming laptop, and it basically records uh, very. I mean, it stitches very quickly. Once I have stitched the 360 image, then I put it in my editor, and then I do the editing. That's what I did 
before, and I literally forgot because I'm, I mean, it's so involved as far as making the video. It's not something that people will like, an average person would like to use. That's why these cameras are cheaper. Uh, but honestly, there's not much difference. It actually has 18 megapixels still uh, sensor instead of 16.6 .6 megapixel still capability on the GoPro Max. So, but the GoPro Max has a LCD screen, which is not a really a plus. Um, and it only has one SD card, which is uh, maybe for some people it'll be a better thing, but I think two cards are better than one anyway, because you have more storage. Uh, and I believe they did it because the speed is better. Uh, you know, SD cards have their speed. If you're recording two streams, you are not even gonna be able to have enough bandwidth for that to be able to record uh, so I'm gonna go inside the post office and then come back and record again for now I'm gonna shut it off